Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be doing this video today. It is my um, video for the Spooky Group collab which is hosted by the wonderful Rory Plays The Sims. So I will have her channel and the playlist link for the collab in the description down below so don't forget to check that out. I think there's over a hundred different creators so there's definitely a video out there that you will like. So please go and check it out. So I was originally going to be building a witch's house for this collab but I built one and I just I wasn't super excited about it so I didn't want to put it out um, and I was thinking of what I could do you know I had heaps of ideas but I wasn't 100% sure on how to you know do it and then I woke up yesterday morning which will be a couple of days ago for you guys and I had this idea to build a church and I just, I wanted it to be something that you can use all year round, it's not just Halloween and I wanted it to be functional. If you do want to get married on this lot though, you will have to change the lot type, it's currently a generic one and you can't get married on those, but my advice would be to change it to a lounge because you just need to add a few objects, I think it's like a couple of bar stools and a musical object. And there's like a little um, wedding celebration area out the side, which you will see later in the video. So that won't seem too weird to put those objects in. So that's just my advice. You can change it to whatever you want though. I just thought it would be nice because we don't actually have like a wedding venue in the game yet. I know there's one coming with city living, but I'm not going to lie. It looks kind of average. I'm not, not really feeling that lot. I just... Yeah, I don't know. City living is... I don't know. I'm excited for it, but there are just some major things that are disappointing me with it, and yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to get into that in this video. Yeah, I just wanted a functional wedding venue. So there is CC in this build, actually. There's only two pieces, though, so if you don't use custom content, then it's fine. You don't have to download it. You'll just be missing the... Um, gravestones that are in the graveyard next to the church. I just really wanted there to be some sort of graveyard in this build so that's why they're there. I will have the links for them down below for you guys so if you do want to download them you can. Um, because this build does have CC then you will have to check the like little advanced box on the gallery to make sure you can find it and it's just the include custom content one. Um, also, I feel 100% better for those wondering, but my voice sounds so horrible. I've been trying to record this for so long, and I keep redoing it. But I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go with it because I don't. I think it's just gonna keep getting worse as I talk more. But I'm just gonna keep going because why not? So at the moment, the build isn't that creepy or spooky or anything, but it starts at around five minutes, I think, the creepiness. The backstory of this church, because most churches do have some sort of history, as does this one. Um, there is a, a man, I don't know his name, I haven't met him or anything, and he owns this church. He moved to town, he was, I think he was a, he used to be a doctor, and these are just what I've heard, I don't know for, for sure, I don't, I don't live there, but um, so this doctor, he moved to town and he started this church to help the community, you know. They have the gatherings and he hosts the weddings and you know if people need help they go to him and he loves that you know he loves having the community depend on him and you know he just everyone loves him everyone thinks he's a really nice guy but there have been some people who you know they they don't really know where he's from they don't really know how he got there and why he's helping them you know he never asks for anything in return he just willingly helps them and so the people who start to question him a bit more than he'd like you know he he calls them into the church he has a little meeting with them has a little chat and depending on how that chat goes he might lead them downstairs i mean i don't know i've never personally experienced it but these are just rumors you know there have been some people who go missing in the town no one really knows where they end up but there are some people who've managed to stay below his radar and they believe that they have ended up in the graveyard that is next to the church. Again, I don't know for sure. That's just what I've heard. 
So I'm going to leave you guys here. I hope you enjoyed my little backstory for this lot. Please keep watching and I hope you enjoy this video. I want to thank Rory over at Rory Plays The Sims one more time just for hosting this collab. I'm so glad that I could be a part of it. It was so much fun. So don't forget to like this video. Let me know down below what you think and subscribe to my channel. Bye guys.